jellyfish are actually the most efficient swimming animals in the ocean. As these animals contract their bodies and expand, they create these swirling currents of water we call vortex rings. Those swirling currents allow them to move through the water very efficiently. But remember, these jellyfish are filter feeders. They're simply trying to eat a lot of food, and so they end up moving in the process of creating that feeding current. Their swimming motion is actually just a byproduct of their feeding. Now, as engineers, what we've decided to do is to leverage that motion, but also to make it more effective than it is naturally to achieve a robot for our goal of ocean exploration. The graduate student who led this work, Simon, had a really clever idea to develop an attachment which would not only allow it to carry science instruments to measure the temperature, the chemistry, and the biology of the ocean, but also to make these jellyfish more streamlined. We call this a forebody, but you might think of it as a cap that's sized to fit directly onto the X umbrella surface of the jellyfish. We needed something that was incredibly waterproof and also neutrally buoyant in order to ensure that we're not changing the buoyancy of the jellyfish and that we're not pulling it to the bottom of our test tank. Now in order to learn more about the local flow around the jellyfish, we used neutrally buoyant particles. Then we illuminated these particles using a laser and had the jellyfish swim through the laser sheet to study fluid dynamics around the jellyfish. We learned that attached caps were able to more gradually divert the flow to increase the swimming efficiency of the jellyfish. Our early work found that the external stimulation of their swimming could allow them to swim up to three times faster than what they normally would. When we add this streamlined cap to the animals, we're able to achieve another 60% increase in their speed. Now, because these jellyfish don't have a central nervous system or pain receptors, we can do this in a way that doesn't harm the animals, and they're able to continue with their lives after we remove the attachment. So we work with Aurelia orida, the most common type of jellyfish species, more commonly known as moon jellies. And these jellyfish live all throughout the ocean and all around the world. So we know they can survive in cold water or warm water. Most importantly, they can survive very deep in the ocean. At the crushing pressures where even today we have a hard time building engineered systems, these animals are perfectly happy. With these animals, we can hope to really cover the deepest parts of the ocean and to study it over long enough periods of time to understand ocean climate change and how we as humans are impacting that habitat. I think we have the opportunity to understand some of the traits that maybe evolution didn't bring out because there was no selective pressure to exhibit those traits, but that robotics can bring out and we can use as engineers to accomplish a variety of different tasks in addition to ocean exploration.